Hey guys, today I'm going to do a tutorial on the sliding piston doors if you don't already know how to do that. I have one side hidden. I know you can make it more compact, but this is just the more simple wiring for anybody who doesn't know how to do it. Um, this side, I all you have to do really is invert the power to keep these always on. But I left one side uncovered just to show you what it looks like, and then one side covered. Uh, all you have to do is walk through it. And uh, all you have to do is wire the other side, and I'll show you how to do that uh, after a little cut. But let me just explain, try to explain to you how this works. If I can get my single player commands working. Yeah, maybe that's not such a good idea. I'm thinking I'll just show you the other side. Alright, so what it is is, uh, let me just tear this up. Anyways, right under here, we have our wiring for the pressure plates, and when you step on those, it sends power to this, which turns this off. Now, this redstone torch uh, inverts the power, keeping that line off, but uh, this will power these pistons to keep them always on, and like that. Now, uh, what you do is, once you press the pressure plate, it'll turn this off, Turn this line off, and it'll enable the doors to come out. So, um, that's how that works. All you have to do is wire the other side. Uh, the same way, just by another pressure plate right here. And, uh, that's how it's done. Um, now I'll be right back with a quick tutorial uh, video on how to wire this up and how many supplies you need and stuff like that. Alright, anyways guys, I'll talk to you in a little while. Alright guys, uh, it's time to make this. Um, this piston sliding door. I added a button here so that could be for the outside kind of lagging here. Uh, sorry about that. Anyways, uh, let's find a little open area to build it. Now you're going to need four pistons, some torches just to light up the inside of the wiring just in case because monsters can't spawn under there. Uh, approximately two redstone torches. Um, I'd have to say about a stack and a half of redstone. Maybe even less. Uh, I could be wrong. Uh, it's not a very compact design. You can make it more compact if you want to. Uh, a button, two pressure plates, and any solid block that you want. For this example, I am going to use wood. So you're going to need four pieces of your solid block. Now let me just set the time to day. Slash time day. Alright. Now that I've set it today, we're going to start getting to work. Now, all you have to do is... Oh yeah, I forgot to mention one last thing. You're going to need uh, a pickaxe. Uh, I'm going to use an iron just because... Uh, well, I know iron's easier to find, so... Uh, and it's faster to use, so... I'll just use this. Anyways, the first thing you want to do is start... Placing your pressure plates. Oops. I kind of misplaced that. Whoa. I'm really lagging right now. Do I, do I still have fly on? Sorry about the difficulties, guys. For some reason, my game is kind of laggy. 
Might be because I'm rendering this video right now. Oh. There we go. Anyways, start by placing your pressure plates. The next thing you want to do is place your pistons approximately one block away from where uh, from your pressure plates. You want to place them this way. Because and then what you want to do is place your solid block on top. Oops, I don't want to do that. Anyways, you just do the same for this side. And place yourself a block. Now, the first thing you want to do is... Uh, I'm going to use dirt for this, uh, for the wiring, because you're going to want to ramp it up. Now, all you need to do is place your dirt on each side on the side and what you want to do is uh, dig out the area where you're going to want your wiring so uh, I'm going to do that real quick and I'll come back when I'm done with that alright guys this is just the basic uh, design that I stuck with on how to dig it out just to give me some room and then you could just cover it back up uh, anyways, I marked out the place where we need to put our button. You want to put a block right where that piston is. And just place that right there. Oh, no, wait. Actually, I may have done that wrong. You also want to leave a block for yourself to get out. But, uh, anyways, the button should be where the piston is extended so in other words you would want it about right here okay anyways now that you have your button placed uh... we could get to work on wiring the thing alright anyways the first thing you're going to need to do is mark out where your two pressure plates are by placing two pieces of redstone right underneath them. You're going to want to go out one, place any solid block, put a redstone torch, and all you have to do is send the wire right up to here. and that should already have your two pistons extended now you want to do the same thing for this side except the way you're going to run the wire up is going to be a little bit different just because of how the button works so you're going to want a redstone wire right under your button you're going to want to dig a little underground trench just to see your wiring under there. Now, what you're going to want to do is do the exact same thing except you're going to want to run it up this ramp. So, we're going to have to extend it, the wire on this side a little bit more. So, let me just get this block out of the way. And I think we want it about right there. As you can see, it's been retracted. Probably because I did it the wrong way. <laughs> Oops. I had a feeling I was doing something wrong. And you just run your wiring up from there. all the way up to here and so far you should have both pistons extended now let me just test this out alright so what we need to do next is run wiring down into here 
Let me just see how that works. Alright, there we go. All you have to do is run the wire from your button down into this second piston, right where you put that inverter. Uh, hook it up to there. And what it should do is power both pistons. Now if you want to, uh, I really don't care on how this works, but um, if you want to add a little bit of delay so you have time to go through the door, just replace that with a repeater right there, and set the tick to whatever. Uh, I'd recommend three. I haven't tried this out, so this is the first test for it. But yeah, that'll give you plenty of time to cross over it. So you can now make your little walkway. Just cover that up. Alright, now let me just set the time today. Okay, now what you're going to want to do is you've got it all wired up, you got the button wired up, you've got the pressure plates wired up. Now all you have to do is cover it up. So, all you have to do is to test it out. Just walk right through it and test out this side. Just walk right through. Alright, there. Now I'm going to show you how to cover it up. All you have to do is place a block right there and on top of that. Same thing for right here. Be careful not to cut the wires while you're doing this. If you, if you want, I'm going to try to make it as compact as I can when covering up the wires. All you have to do is do that. See like right here, you don't want to cut the wires, so what you're going to do is make it a step up. And to cover up this side, all you have to do is just like that. And then to cover up here, all you have to do is, oh great, let me set the time to day again. Oh, it's rain. Never mind. Slash weather. Set to sun. Anyways, now that you have that, um, we want to cover up this and we don't want to cover that up because we need to protect the wire so all you have to do uh, and this really works because you could just cover up the piston like that and then to cover up this wire it's pretty simple just like that make it a step up put a block right here if you want to And all you have to do is make it work just like that. Just cover that up. Just like that. And that's how you would cover it up. Same thing with up here. All you have to do is place a block right on top of it. And that's what it should look like once you have it covered up. You can make it look a lot more nice than this, but just for demonstration purposes. Anyways, let's give it one final test before I end this episode. Seems to work. Going back. Nice. Anyways guys, I hope this tutorial helped. Uh, probably going to be doing a lot more tutorials in the sandstone test world. Um, I will get back to my LP series once 1.8 comes out, um, uh, because I've been making a new world, especially for 1.8, getting everything ready and sorted out, because I don't want to make any mob systems or anything until I know that, uh, Endermen will not spawn in and stuff like that, water currents might change, you never know. 
Uh, so I hope you learned from this episode. If you want to uh, send a video response telling me uh, or showing me what you did with this and how you implemented it into your world. Uh, anyways, guys, uh, Prestige Films here uh, saying like, comment, subscribe, and keep dominating. Anyways, guys, see ya.